Oh, Rake of the Eyes right there by Pac Rat. Now, with a kick to the back of the leg there to Pac Rat James by snooping out. Hits him with an Enziguri kick, and now Brandon Tom is going to the top rope. And trying to go for a splash into Mike Mexico, but Mike Mexico gets out of the way there. And now another over the back face splash, this time by Mike Mexico, now hits him with a body splash, and now. Damn, so much, so much action here. It's just non-stop action as you would expect from a Crusado match. And Pac Rat is trying to get an unfair advantage, but luckily Snoop Dogg kicks out after two. Despite the unfair advantage. And now to a rope break right there. As you expect, a lot of high-paced action in these Crusado matches. I mean, if we can, let's look at at the tail of the tape here, Snoop Dogg, about 6'2", 165 pounds. Then you got Pac Rat James with the breakup of the pin right there, standing in at 5'10", 186 pounds. You know, break up there by Snoop. Then you got Brandon Thomas, 5'11", 190 pounds. And then Mike Mexico, 6'1", 207 and now roll up try to go for the pin and and Brandon Thomas able to, to interrupt that pinfall attempt and now chop right there on the snoop and now damn hits him with that tornado DDT and now Brandon Thomas with a bulldog on the mic in Mexico and now snoop with a go behind and now hits him with a back elbow and a quick jab right there, sending Pac right to the ropes. And now going with a small package, the cover. And Pac Rat James kicks out after two. And now Pac Rat scoop slam and now hits him with a drop kick. Damn, and. Brandon Thomas went for the hot landing drop, but there, Pac Rat James to to prevent Brandon Thomas from going after going for the pin there, and now Brandon Thomas throwing Pac Rat to the corner, just sit, uh, give, delivering a lot of chops right there. Damn! And now Snoop with a bulldog, and this high pace action. I mean, and now, what else are we going to see from these fine, finely tuned athletic machines here? And damn, what an arm drag there by Snoop. And a nice elbow drop by Mike Mexico and Brandon Thomas. And now, a nice go behind. Pac Rat James is down. Snoop Dogg on the ring apron. Oh, what a drop kick by Pac Rat James! And now he's going for the cover. Two. And Mike Mexico, just in the nick of time, makes the save right there. Now, plants Snoop Dogg with a DDT. And now go to the ring apron. Connect with that springboard elbow. And now Pac Rat and Brandon Thomas locking up. And now. Packer with that DDT right there, and Snoop with a, with a bulldog, and now the cover, two, and almost three right there as Snoop Dogg interrupts the pinfall. I mean, so much action by all four of these tremendous athletes, as you would expect in a Crusado title match, and now Pack Red James, damn. Now, kick right there. A shove right there by Snoop Dogg. And I don't know who's in control of this matchup here. It's anyone's matchup from, all, from what I can tell. And what the hell's Pac Rat doing? Man, he's a focus here if he wants to win this matchup here. 
And now Pack Rat working on the knee of Mike Mexico. And a European uppercut by Snoop on a Brandon Thomas. And damn, what a head scissors takedown. Damn. Oh, kick below the belt by by Brandon Thomas on a Pack Rat James. And now Damn, a submission move by Mike Mexico. You hardly ever see submission moves in a Crusader title match. Or any Crusader match for that matter. I don't know why I said title match. That's a botch on my part. But back to this action here. As the pace quickens for all four of these guys. And now Mike Mexico with a reverse DDT. And now... Damn... And Brandon Thomas trying to get an unfair advantage there with that pin, using his foot for leverage. And now Pack Rat with an arm drag. And now Mike Mexico with a punch to Pack Rat James. And now the action going to the outside here. It's all over the place again. And now Pack Rat James sending Pack. Mike Mexico with a ring apron and knocks him down and now with it over the over the back face buster by Pac Rat James and now going for the cover and that's it. Pac Rat James is your winner and now he's gonna compete for the XGW Crusader title at the next worldwide, which will be the next episode. So Dragon Ball better be ready for Pac Rat James. I mean, I mean, Pac Rat has been here for two years and he's gonna finally get a shot at the Crusader title. I know he's had some towel shots before, but never successful. And now, as they're getting ready for their match to defend their women's tag team titles against cheerleader Melissa and Atlanta Star from the collective. And what the hell? V13? What? Oh, no. What? I don't know what to say about that. We'll be right back. Mutilator. It's like shaving your chest with a lawnmower. That sounds dangerous, but it's not more dangerous than Brondo. Because drinking Brondo is like riding a pony. Which probably sounds not dangerous, except that the pony is 300 feet tall and covered in chainsaws. And to get on the pony, you have to take an elevator with 16 live cougars. Which is an actual sport in Latin America. Which is extremely fun, but not as much fun as Brondo. Because drinking Brondo is like driving an ice cream truck full of angry bees through a petting zoo. Which is a great way to become popular if you want to become popular with law enforcement. But if you don't, you should still drink Brondo, no. because Brondo will make you use your fists in everyday tasks, like watching television, or romance, or helicopter repair and maintenance. It will also make you more awesome at English, which means you can use apostrophes wherever you want to, even in words like nuclear, which don't even have an apostrophe yet. Alright, we are back, and the XGWO Women's Tag Team titles are going to be on the line as... Rebecca Moonlight Lohan and Alice Blackwell, the new XCWO Women's Tag Team Champions, are here to, to defend their titles. Approaching the ring, the disaster. Well, here they come. Rebecca Moonlight Lohan and Alice Blackwell. I mean, they've done a pretty good job here since, since entering XGWL. Both of them. I mean, that worked very well as a tag team. I mean, it wasn't easy to defeating Obsidian and Tendo Lewis, that's for sure, but they did it. It wasn't easy, though, but congratulations to them once again. And oh, great. Here comes the collective. Here comes Cheerleader Melissa and Lana Starr. And don't tell me that. Oh, great. Look. Look who it is. V13 to accompany them to ringside. I don't like the look of this. 
Something smells fishy. And the superstar. And I think that smell's coming from V13. <laughs> and I don't get this whole collective thing trying to take over women's CAW. I mean, they've already done done that with SCA and ACW. I just hope it doesn't become a serious problem next GWL. I don't know what else to say about that. Really, to be honest, I, I really don't like this V13, but in the latest Newswire, I know that Extreme Tony did sign V13 to the 